show next week as we broadcast live from Canna Camp in Flushing. That's right, Canna Camp 2013 is here. Be a part of this annual summer fun event. A perch fishing tournament, live bands, the horseshoe championship, a 50-50 raffle, and vendors. Bring your pets. Tents and RVs are welcome. It's just $10 a night per person for camping at this three-day mega event. 8338 West Mount Morris Road in Flushing next weekend, July 5th, 6th, and 7th. Or check out the ad on politicaltwistup.com. Are you looking for medical marijuana professionals in Michigan and do not know where to turn? Visit mmma.biz. For a directory listing of products and services, search through the medical marijuana business. This is the Political Twist Up Show. PoliticalTwistUp.com if you didn't know. Here to put you in the zone. Dealing with real issues. Real relevant on the real radio. All right, we are live, broadcasting live from the Iron Lab studio, powered by the Metro Detroit Compassion Club. It is the Political Twist Up show, off the heels of the Cedar Point program. Yes, Ryan? Oh, yeah. It's been a heck of a week, huh? It, it has been a, a really crazy week. Can you turn my mic down a little bit? you got the mic hot on me here. Do you know which one it is? There it is. Yeah, I'm just a little bit hot. A little, a little lower, a little lower. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. There we go. That's a little better. All right. Um, so here's what we got going on. It's been a really busy week. You know, since we left the Cedar Point thing, it, you know, we got a new vehicle for the show now. Yeah, that's awesome. I love it. So We're starting a club. I'm going to think to get that thing wrapped. I was thinking about putting a sign in the back of my window. We can have, yeah, you know. You're, not you're, a, you're a little hot there. You're, you're hot, too. We want to put in a little, Go ahead. you know, a little sign on the back, a PTU sign in the back. Just in the back window, you know, that's my everyday oh, vehicle. So you're going to logo up the vehicle? Uh, just the back window, yeah. Your, your car, your personal car. Well, yeah. They won't be able to distinguish it from my personal car because they're the same car. Well, <laughs> mine's a different color. It's <laughs> vanilla. And okay, it, it a, makes us look like we're, you know. You're, a little, we're, you're still way hot, dude. Way hot. We're a growing operation. Come on, down, down. Turn them down. No, there's only two. You got two All right. These two down. These are the buttons. Yep, they're down. It's a little, a little hot. There we go. All right. Um, the problem is, is if we get too loud, the, the the audio that we feed our signals with to the radio stations will blow us out. They won't even hear us. I like blowouts. I've been known to have a few blowouts in my time. But, yeah, that's uh, the wrong kind of blowout. Anyway, no, if we have a couple cruisers, which you have a cruiser now for the show, we have them wrapped with a logo that just we, we cover a wide range. Now, uh, you'll notice that uh, we're missing a voice here today. We're not missing him. He's only here half the time. <laughs> I mean, I miss him. I like him, but he, he's been uh, busy this summer. Um, you know, Rick's. I think he's got some uh, some family medical issues going on. He's off uh, oh, taking care of family. Well, I hope so, that everybody's good. It was kind of a last-minute thing. He was on the phone this morning. He's ready to go, and then all of a sudden, I can't hear from him. Well, that's how medical emergencies yeah, you know. usually go. They're emergencies. No, no, for sure. Uh, now, you, you you had one of those recently yourself. Not an emer- Well, yeah, not a kind of. Kind of, kind of. Um, anyway. We had a back surgery in the household yeah. um, the Tuesday Ooh. before we went to Cedar Point. I brought my fiance home the day I left for Cedar Point, which went over like a lead balloon. Yeah, um, yeah that wasn't too good. Know, well, I, hey, you know, you're done with the surgery. It's time. Where I'm going to leave now. See bye. you. Bye. We're on, no, the, she's we're on a, the dragster. She's a trooper. You know, it, it had to happen the way it did, and she was okay. 
But then right. there were storms this week, and I lost my truck. All right. You know, we got, uh, there's so much, like I said, so much that's uh, happened this week. And um, I just wanted to uh, make sure that we covered it all. I mean, um, I got my card. You, yeah, I got my card, too. Okay, that We didn't was get a, a big... chance to discuss any of that before. We kind of dropped that potato cold. I mean, we were talking before on the radio show about how I was complaining that Laura hasn't got their crap together. That's the uh, Department of Department of Licensing and Regulation in the state of Michigan. They're the ones that handle the medical marijuana program, and they're the ones that issue the cards. You have to apply for them in the program uh, to, to Laura. And um, I was complaining that they were, that you know, four years in, they still are not issuing these cards in the time allotted by law. they got to issue those things. By a certain date. It's it's uh, 21 days after the time that you get it. They're supposed to issue it. Well, mine was stamped. My return receipt was stamped the 29th, 29th of, of May. April. Of April. April, April. Mine too. The dates on the actual card, though, it's like um, the issuing date was 5-14 of 2013. Um, that means that I actually mailed it. If it was stamped the 29th, let's say four days that gives me four days so that would have been on like the 24th that's a long time it was issued a month and i got it a month and a week later than even when it was issued so yeah it's taken a long time so we got a couple of new sponsors this week um and i got to talk about those the, the thing with those uh the cards was the business with um them not issuing them on time and then uh, we never told anybody when your card when my card came see i actually called a state legislator I actually got the program administrator at Laura involved in pulling my file and actually, for, you know, having him hand it to the guy to print it and dropping it in the mail and calling me the moment they did it. Did uh, they call with, you? With, yeah, they did. Oh. But all of that interference was for naught because you still got your card three days before me or a week before me or something. Sometimes, it was really strange. Sometimes special attention isn't as special as you want it to be. It's, um, it still doesn't belie the fact that they're not doing it by the time allotted for in the law. I mean, they've got 21 right. days by law to issue that card. There's a reason for it. You know right. why it is? Because you're legal right. at that point. You're either in the club or you've well, not been accepted. Well, well, when's the last time you saw a cop that said, oh, yeah, that paperwork's good? Yeah, right. Um, oh, we, yeah, we trust you on the paperwork. Yeah. No, they're going to put your hand, put your hands behind your back. That's what they do. I know. you got to have that card. It's the one that gives you the protection. And, look, the paperwork should, too, because it's supposed to be the substitute card if you haven't got your card yet but we all know that they don't care about the substitute card well that's kind of like having a birth certificate to get a passport it's like if the birth certificate gets you the passport then it should be as important as the passport but it's not the uh, cards are the same way the paper gets you the card without that paper you get nothing but yet the card is what really protects you well it, it, it's, 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 supposed it's, to. it's your immunity uh, supposedly if anybody honors it because they don't do that either. They haven't been well, honoring honoring the immunity. Well, look at Steve Green number two. No, I mean, he's his I don't card. Know. He is number his two, card isn't he? didn't honor. You know, they treated him like number two. That's for sure. You know, that's terrible. You have this card issued by the government, but another government agency is coming after me and prosecuting me. Why am I paying for this card? So, uh, we never wrapped up the idea that you got your card before me, even though <laughs> I interfered in the program with, through a state legislator and through the program coordinator. It still wasn't good enough to get it. To, even an inch before yours. And yours no. still came before mine. And we applied exactly the same day. Our cards were stamped yep. the same day. Same. It's a two-year card now, if you're not familiar. They've changed all that stuff last fall uh, with House Bill, was it 4271 or no? That's no, the new bill. that uh, was, no. 4856, I don't remember. There's, there, However, it was last year's bills anyways. You want to remind people they still should talk to their doctor every six months to keep that relationship status. Well, no, no, no. Not, well, they should. There, there's an expectation that that can occur and should occur. It's, That's right. But it's not... Um, it's not something that you have to absolutely do, but it's it's something that that they're they should be you should be, this this is the way it should be with any doctor in any prescription. Yes. If they're giving you a script for say even an antibiotic, you know seven days from the time you took it, you should probably be going back there and right. getting a checkup to make sure that the antibiotic did what it was supposed to do. It shows due diligence on yes. your part. It's just yeah, it gives it, the gives the air of non impropriety. That's right. Or propriety. It gives the air of propriety. I was going to say, yeah. That maybe not impropriety. Not. <laughs> it's a double negative. Go ahead and back to English school, Steve. So that's uh, we got that wrapped up. A spot of tea? A spot, oh, not, not, not that, that English. Okay. Not, not quite that English. The old English D, I like that. There you go. The English nice. D, I like. Go Tigers, by um, the way. I have gotta to love say, the I did something really cool this week. I went to the Detroit Fireworks. Oh, you did? I yes. didn't get a chance to go. I was on the Windsor side. I know Matt Abel was probably out there because um, his, his offices are right down there. He's got a prime spot for viewing. They don't let you cross Jefferson unless you go into Hart Plaza. 
You can't be in front of the Renaissance building, the River Walk. Were you, none were, of were you that. the ones playing playing back the sound of gunshots? Was that was no, 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 I was no, on. No. I was in Windsor. No. I, I always go to Windsor. It's a beautiful park over there. There, were, there were fake gunshots. They, somebody heard some I, reflective uh, firecrackers or yes, something, and, I, and some everybody ducked and ran. And the it's police a were like, shame, Down, get down. Though. It's a shame that that's the well, you everybody know. Everybody thinks Boston when that happens. I, well, Detroit's have a history of no, having those. Detroit's issues. had many Bostons. <laughs> yeah, you know. Few bad apples spoil the bunch. I it's love Detroit. I love Detroit. But Look, Detroit's going to come a mile in this next year. You watch. You watch. It's going to. It's going to come from the, from crawling to it'll be like the, the hottest property in the in the state. I hope so. I hope to see the Illage Project take wings and. Right now, it's all about debt. It's all about getting all this massive, massive debt out from underneath their legs. Right. As soon as they do, their bond ratings will go back up. You know, it'll be attractive property again. The real estate market will be unsuppressed. It'll be a lot better. Right. And they'll have some revenue coming in. There are people down there from the state, including the governor. And, you know, I can't say Obama's neck isn't on this. I mean, all these guys are looking. This would be the largest bankruptcy from a city in the oh, country's yeah. history. Absolutely. So uh, they're bringing in the guys from, like, Orange Orange County, California. Uh, we're talking about Detroit emergency manager situation. Uh, the emergency manager, Kevin Orr, is bringing in somebody from, I believe it's from California. That's who they're talking about they're bringing in. Uh, to kind of oversee the legal aspect of this because he was the one that oversaw the right. bankruptcy in Orange County. Um, and I think Kevin Orr's ex-law firm, I forget their name. Um, out of Cleveland there? Yeah, out of Cleveland. Yep. Cincinnati. The one that he was working right. for before he quit and yeah. came here. They're, they're handling a good part I of this I think too, he'll I think. do, you know, what's necessary, you know, to put a politics aside. I think uh, that's du- a Mike good Dugan's move. getting back into the race. He's going to do a write-in <laughs> campaign. That's shenanigans. I mean, I you know. Hey, look, he was the hottest property on the ticket before he was not I, on the I, ticket. I believe it's shenanigans because I don't think it's going to be allowed. I think that the court case said he can't run in any way, shape, no, or he form. No, can't, he can't get on the ballot, but he can run as a write-in. He can run oh. as a write-in. That's a completely well, side-in thing. That seems to be the issue at hand. Like is Jane Boudreau could have run as a write-in if she wanted to, but, you know, that wouldn't have been smart. Well, she was actually on the ticket, though. Yeah, she was on. She didn't have to run as a write-in. We hope she gets back, you know. I hope she runs again. Yes, she should run, run run again at least jessica cooper know. not a proper not a, not not a very uh she's been in the news this week everybody yes. picking on jessica for the uh the big murder trial going on downtown well, a couple of murder trials going on the, downtown in detroit boys and the, the Cipriano uh, case yeah the spice and all that yes. uh yeah. that was the uh, case of the baseball bat beatings yes. and uh, they had a plea a, gu- a couple of guilty well a guilty plea and a guilty uh found fighting right anyways we've got lots to talk about moms for marijuana making the circuit this month Nice. Uh, everywhere. They've been on TV everywhere. I got a clip from CNN. We'll, we'll play a bit from that. We'll discuss it. Uh, you got to hear some of this. Kevin Sabet's in there. Oh, it's all about the pot. We'll be right back with more. It's the Political Twist Up Show live from the Iron Lab studio at the Multimedia Digital Network. The Political Twist Up Show. Hi, Buddy here inviting you to enjoy huge summer savings at Clio Cultivation. We work closely with the manufacturers of your favorite products to guarantee the lowest prices and highest quality. By getting to know them, we can really understand how to maximize your yield and quality. We can even tell you how our products perform and why they work. If you don't need the knowledge, share your wisdom with us and enjoy our discounts with at least 15% off everything. Real MSRP. Daily 10 to 7, Saturdays 10 to 5, closed Sundays. Now offering Happy Frog and Ocean Forest for less than $13.95. Raptor 8-inch reflectors, $199. Super Red HPS Hortolux lamps, $99. 1,000 watt switchable ballast, 89.95. Eight light T5s, 189. And can fan, eight inch inline, just 99. Your home away from home is at 11394 North Saginaw Road, or call 810-686 Grow. At Clio Cultivation, we are only here for you. If you or someone you know received a traffic ticket, has been charged with a misdemeanor, drinking and driving, criminal offense, or has had their driver's license taken away, they need an attorney. They need attorney Glenn McCandless. He's helped hundreds of people solve their legal problems over the past 16 years. My law firm is dedicated to providing quality legal services at affordable rates. Call us at 586-755-2900. Again, that's 586-755-2900. Call now. Are you looking for medical marijuana professionals in Michigan and do not know where to turn? Visit MMMA.biz. For a direct relisting of products and services, search through the medical marijuana businesses at MMMA.biz. That's MMMA.biz. Well, this uh, formula is specifically to grow cannabis. That's Ray Kogo for Kogo's Original Cannabis Formula Nutrients. Now, everybody knows that uh, large buds and tight buds come from genetics and then the amount of light you use. 
The other part is having the correct nutrients that the plant's going to use. Uh, mine specifically to grow cannabis, so it's going to get everything that it needs. Ray knows what you may not. Those nutrient companies you can get in most grow shops are not cannabis specific. That means they take the stuff out of the bloom that your plant needs in bloom. You can get Kogo's Original Cannabis Formula Nutrients too. It's just two one-gallon jugs that make over 600 gallons of nutrients, all for less than 100 bucks. See the difference for yourself. More trichomes, bigger buds, faster growth and for less money. Go to cannabisformula.com or call Ray Direct at 517-375-8998. That's 517-375-8998. Coco's Original Cannabis Formula Nutrients. Get everything you need at HydroVision Indoor Gardening Centers. It's summertime, and the best of what you need for indoor and outdoor gardening is at your local HydroVision store, where your indoor gardening dreams come true outside, too. Equipment and supplies, they got it. Nearby locations, they got it. And the friendly, helpful staff is full of answers to all your gardening needs. HydroVision, get great prices. Mention my name, Steve Green, for a special discount. HydroVision Indoor Gardening Centers in Howell, Fenton, Richmond, Trenton, and Belleville, one near you or go to myhydrovision.com the the political twist up radio show show. oh wow jeez I am not used I think these headphones are too loud what's going on I'm not sure I've got the audio down when we do these remote things when I get a little loud I can't I'm like four feet from the microphone I'm still loud as as I'll get it I don't get it well, welcome back. It's the Political Twist Up Show on the Multimedia Digital Network. You can hear us here every uh, Saturday from 3 until 4 in the afternoon. Oh. oh, you can't. Oh, it went down. No, you, you can't play with that while we're. And you've got us turned all the way up. That's the problem. You've got to turn it the other way. No wonder we're blowing these out. Yeah, that's the down. Oh, good Lord. Now I can, now I can turn them. See, now we're normal again. Good. Don't you know how to operate a... What, what do they teach you at the specs, Ryan? What's going on? Um, not your now, now, you're not, now you're completely all the way off. <laughs> We're not going to leave in control of the mics anymore. <laughs> um, I've never had control of the mics. So. Well, that, well, now you do. It's, it was a mistake. <laughs> well, you've given anybody a piece of equipment they never touched. I don't think they're going to do we, much sure better. So. Okay, you're back up. All right, now we're after the technical stuff. So um, we were talking before the break about these uh, the moms... The moms for marijuana. Moms. Have you seen these people on TV? I've seen them. Did you see them doing The View? They were on The View this week. Oh, I, It's no, really weird watching Barbara that. Walters talk about pot. I was off out power half the week. Oh, you see, you had a storm thing. You, had a, yeah. you got a crushed truck out of this week. Yes. Uh, that's not good. Um, you're over in the Waterford area. We got hit with a lot of water in the in the eastern side of the state. We here. took a beating. Waterford took a beating. I'm out not of saying that Grand storm. Rapids didn't get hit. I think they got hit pretty good, too. <laughs> we have the most power outages... Um, there were actual a funnel spotted. Um, we took a beating that day. There's still people without power in my whole neighborhood. Out of 1,200 homes, there's only 300 with power. Yeah, that's that's a, that's not a good number. Anyway, so you lost a truck. You've been without power all week. Uh, yeah, I, I tried calling you several times this week. I'm like, where's Ryan? <laughs> it's like the Waldo thing, you know? Well, you instantly turn into, you know, the... Uh, Settlers, well, you, gotta, <laughs> you know, you got no power, no water. Well, your, your, your woman's at You're home. On she, candles. She's, she's she's all bedridden from the hospital, and then you got a crushed truck, and there's no power. It's all sweaty and hot and sticky. And I do have a small generator to keep food in the refrigerator going, but yeah, it was pretty bad. And I assume I assume you have no a regular TV. job to do besides you know coming in here and volunteering. Um, yes, I try to do anyway. work during the week. But so anyway, that <laughs> it, all happened. it was just a mess. It's been hard. Um, so if you have you, so you didn't get a chance to see the view then because no, you had no power. Well, no. The, you know Barbara Walters, they had the big sticky weed up behind her and the big uh, the big Ooh. the big screens behind her. They got those big giant green screen panels. Every single one of them was all pot pictures. Sticky triclone. And then they had the the moms on there. There's three of them. They're, I think they're all from California. Yep. Um, and they're they're you know all forty ish some odd moms. Uh, some of them look maybe fifty ish, and. Uh, they're all spouting the thing. Hey, you know, I'll just play you the clip. I'll start to play. Here's the here's the piece. Um, this aired on. Uh, this is from Piers Morgan. If you've ever watched Piers Morgan on CNN, that's where this clip came from. Let me see. I can pull it up here. Here it is. I'm gonna play it here for you now. Mothers, people, parents, every day take Vicodin or medications uh, to help cure their pain, or for anxiety, insomnia. For me, cannabis is a medication. I know my typical dosage. It's weighed out. I know how to space it out, just like someone would take Tylenol. 
One of the Beverly Hills pop mums who I interviewed on Friday, they use cannabis because it makes them better parents, they claim, and deals with pain and anxiety <laughs> and so on. They and many others want pot to be legalised. But should it be? That's what we're talking about in our series. At first, I think Piers is, uh, it's funny, he's pot. He's making his pot. <laughs> he's, I like it's, it. it. Sounds it's, classy. It's, it, he refers to it as pot. It's, Any, it, anything it, It's a pot people. mom. It's a, it's a pot mum. I it's like just, it. It's just kind of weird. I like it. Uh, continue. Oh, no. We know what happened. Okay, we're going to I just started from the beginning. University of Florida and the author of Reefer, co-founder of One Mind for Research. Also, Kevin Subet, he's the director okay, of the Okay, see, these are the guests. Okay, wait, 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 back it up. See, I, I lost my space. That's what we're talking about in our series, Gone to Pot, America's Marijuana Obsession. With me now is former co Obsession. Congressman Patrick Kennedy, co-founder of One Mind for Research. Okay, wait, now, uh, Patrick Kennedy, um, you know, he's one of the Kennedy clan. And, yes. and he's the one that uh, was... He was a senator, congressman? I, for a minute. He, and, well, he, he was, lost his spot being a pillhead, I believe. Well, he yeah, he had a drug rehab. He went to rehab, and so he's uh, his big fight has been mental health and addiction, which you'll see in this piece if I ever have enough time to play the whole thing. But um, he started all this. You saw him on Mar the other day, Bill Mars show two on HBO ago. Real Time. Yeah, yeah. Two he was ago. on there saying the saying the same stuff. So give me a chance. I'll shut up now. And let you play. On mine for research. Also, Kevin Subet. He's the director of the Drug Policy Institute at the University of Florida and the author of Reefer Sanity and Neil. That way, I just Kevin Kevin Sabat. Uh, you know Kevin. He it, it, it was the history of this show. Kevin was a part of the. Um, and you weren't around, Ryan, when we did this. This was at Wayne State University in Detroit, about six months, eight months before you came on board on the show. Uh, Kevin Sabet was down at Wayne State, uh, the the School of Law down there, invited right. him down to do a, a symposium. And we were down there broadcasting that symposium live. He was one of the speakers there. And Kevin runs all over the country. I've seen him on YouTube in Ohio talking about, no, you can't do the medical marijuana. If you're going to do this, you got to do it right. It's going to be through the pharmacy. And, uh, you know, they're not going to do that at the federal level because Kevin Sabet's doing everything he can to keep pot off the schedule list. He doesn't want you to have access to the marijuana for any, any, any purpose. Um, you, you, I've seen his position slowly erode over time, though. Um, because it must used to, back when he was in the University of Detroit t speaking then, it was all hardcore. No, if we're going to do anything, we're going to split schedule it like they do with uh, opium and heroin, that kind of thing. Opium is the raw form of right, heroin, right. and heroin's a derivative. And so the derivative heroin is illegal. Opiate, the raw plant, opium, the raw plant, illegal. You can't have either one. But some of these other pharmaceuticals that they derive from those two forms are completely legal. Right. Um, uh, under medical supervision and with a prescription. Just like some of the cocaine derivatives, Novocaine. Correct, correct. Being... All, cocaine is also yeah, on a split yeah. schedule. It has a legitimate medical purpose, but to this day, the federal government still will not recognize the legitimate use of... Me they still say that it is unsafe for use under a doctor's supervision. Uh, what, where, where are they pulling that from? Where are they, who is the one that came up with the claim that it's unsafe? Who, how do they determine that a doctor cannot be safe supervising a person with the use of marijuana, which has no toxicity level known to mankind. Zero people have ever died from marijuana. I'm sorry, get off the soapbox. All right. Retired police major and executive director of law enforcement against prohibition, or LEAP, and Dr. Drew Pinsky. Uh, stay with me, because why would I get rid of you? Yeah, I have such a contentious issue as this. Uh, by the way, is when you, I thought Nancy Grace had it going with Tot Mom, but Pot Mom. Pot Mom. <laughs> now you're really <laughs> on Pot Mom. Um, Patrick, can we start group? with you? Because you, at one oh, stage in your life, group. were, were in support marijuana. of legalizing marijuana for medical purposes. Now you've changed your mind. Why? Well, because I found out the facts, and the facts are my initial uh, thing. Wait a minute. He found out the facts. Now, he never says where he got the facts from, but I can tell you where he got them from. He got them from the same place he did the 12-step programming. You know, when you go to a 12-step thing, then they say, you know, you've got a, a substance abuse problem. They're going to teach you everything that is the ills about, and they're going to give you a lot of information that may not even be accurate. I think that's what's happened here. Yes. I don't know where he's gotten his information that says, and his basic, his, his underlying claim, and I'll let, you, I'll let it play on, believe me, his underlying claim here, because I've seen it in all of his other speeches, is that um, if, you, if you remove the air of this is illegal, it's not allowable, for, then lots more kids will end up using and it's just such a fallacial argument. Well, it's against social proof. They do this in Spain, and the drug use has went down in Spain. Well, all of the scientific data says that when you control a substance, kids don't have access to alcohol or cigarettes because in this country, you know, in this state, you don't right. find kids running around with cigarettes because they're going to get busted. Uh, you know, minor in possession. You know, they take them down to juvie for that. That's right. Uh, same thing with the booze. You're going to, you're going to juvie. 
right away. I mean, they're going to take you to your parents. They're going to parents are probably going to get in trouble. Right. Um, you don't see kids running around with alcohol and tobacco because the guy at the store won't sell it to them, and they got to find somebody who's willing to pay a huge price for allowing them to give them access. And that's the same thing we're suggesting you do with a, a drug like cannabis because it's it, it's it's least it's less harmful than either tobacco or uh, alcohol. Even if you combine them, it's less harmful. Mm. Um, and they're not going to use it if it's if you, you restrict access. Black if you don't cigarettes. restrict access, you create a black market, and they're running out next door to the neighbor and getting it because that's what they're doing now. Right. Every neighbor on the street has access to marijuana that the kids can get if they really want to pressure them for it. Well, it's always the little brother got it from his big brother. I mean, we all know uh, yeah. that. Uncle, friend, yeah. neighbor, whoever. It, you know, it's it's never a pusher on the street like they like to say. Oh, it's some guy here. Your first taste is free, kid. Come on back when you want some more. It's not like that. But this, never has been really with pot. The proof has been proven. Anyway, you know, uh, it, it, shenanigans. Yeah. So here, uh, just uh, so let, let let him go on with about the truth. Well, because I found out the facts, and the facts are. My initial uh, thinking was like most Americans. I didn't think it was any big deal. Frankly, I thought people who had cancer, some medical need, every member of my family has had cancer, so I wouldn't begrudge them using something to mitigate the, the effects of chemotherapy, for example. But then I saw, from looking at it further, and I was uh, asked to be on the National Institutes of Drug Abuse Board with Nora Volkow, and I really learned the science, Pierce. And when I learned the truth about the impact of us going down this road towards legalization, it, it really occurred to me that my original position was wrong. And, and I hope that anybody who has a position, if they see the facts and they see that they were wrong, they will admit it. I admit it. I was wrong to initially think that there was, there was something harmless about medical marijuana. Because now what I've seen is that there is a commercial industry behind this medical marijuana soon to be moving down the track as it has in Washington, Colorado, become fully legalized. And I worry that uh, my fight has been for mental health and, uh, and against addiction and trying to treat addiction, but the best way to treat addiction is prevention. And what I really worry about with this reducing the um, kind of harm, perception of harm of marijuana, which is what's really out there now thanks to all this mm -hmm movement towards legalization that more people will use peers and if more people use like i did when i was a teenager nine out of ten addicts which i became started when they were teenagers and no one can okay. argue to okay. me that this move will increase the the number of young people who will end up using this because they don't think it's any big deal um, because of this notion that it's medical and i okay. think that's a dangerous Let me notion let me bring in Dr. Drew here because, you know, when we did this show on, on Friday, I find it fascinating, the arguments for and against. Sanjay Gupta is seen as a very respected uh, medical guy. You know, he's very firmly, look, there's no evidence that he's seen that uh, marijuana is any more harmful than alcohol or tobacco. Well, and on that basis, why should it be treated differently? But that's a bizarre argument. They, to me, that's where the rubber hits the road on all this stuff, was that, well, if you want to look at a bad drug, the drugs have the most serious impact on the health of this country, a bad drug, alcohol and cigarettes are bad drugs. Now, the fact that they're legal doesn't make them any less good, any more good. They're still bad. So the question is, do we... Okay, wait a minute. Now... So we're, we're, we're the part where Dr. Drew, uh, again, a 12-step guy. Well, he's not really 12-step. He's just a drug rehab specialist. He's a 12-step guy. Does he do the 12 steps? Does they, he do the God thing? Yes, they all do that. They I, know, I, I never saw that on the. Guys. I never saw that on the rehab show. He never did the God thing on the rehab show. Not that I saw. <laughs> Bless you. Whew. That was a big yes. sneeze, right? He is a 12-stepper. Okay, and... so so you got two 12-steppers on here. Um, and I'm not saying Dr. Drew's a bad guy. Dr. Drew is definitely uh, on my good list. I but, like Dr. But, Drew, but I think he's misguided in this particular argument. I think he doesn't have a problem overall with cannabis. You know, he, but, but then but this, the doctor part of him says, oh, there are people addicted to marijuana. The problem is, is the people that he are... He treats people addicted to marijuana. But I mean... I don't believe that. He does. He, he says it right in this piece. I'll finish playing it. Hang on. So the question is, do we want to throw another one into that that could be... But unless you're prepared, well. though, as a country, right. Kevin, to outlaw all cannabis 
or alcohol or tobacco. Or, or legalise everything. Or legalise yeah. everything. I mean, I, you know, to, to me, I mean, I remember, I, I touched on this on Friday, but, you know, when I broke a few ribs, I remember getting, a, not addicted, but I think dependent. you would call it dependent, dependent. within a f right. four or five weeks right. because of the excruciating pain to both Vicodin, which mm -hmm. I took for the pain, and Ambien, mm -hmm. for which I was trying to use and, to and sleep. And by the way, in terms of you know, people dying in right. this country right now, sure. those classes of drugs are the ones that are But those are people. legal. And I, they're, I was they're, stunned they're, by the right. power they're, of these. doesn't make them bad drugs, though. Right. If you had cancer, they'd be good drugs. Exactly right. right. But, but my point is, no one can tell me from what I experienced then that marijuana in uh, controlled doses yeah. Yeah. potentially legalized and therefore the actual substance is not being cut with anything unpleasant right. is is any more harmful than those were well, probably a lot less but Pierce I mean consistency isn't the highest virtue of public policy I mean I think Drew makes a good point that alcohol and tobacco are actually horrific examples and I talk about this in Reefer Sanity that the legality of those two drugs are is no argument for marijuana to be legal actually it's an argument to keep marijuana illegal we have big tobacco right now and the liquor lobby I worked mm -hmm. in Washington we saw their influence um, they target kids Kids. Frankly, they target minorities. They make sure that they go after the ones that are addicted. Are those and, or those right. limbs? Are those organizations going to pick up cannabis? Well, well, that's the issue. There's already evidence that but they look, will. Dr. Uh, Drew has so already removed from my life anything yeah. yummy. The scones have had to go. Right? <laughs> look, now can, you want to take no. away my cigar you know that I have every three months. Yeah, you I want know. to take away my. It appears called marijuana yummy. He said, if you take everything or take away everything that's yummy, I'm still going to argue the point that you cannot become addicted to marijuana chemically. No, it, it, and you'll, uh, if anything, the, the people develop a bit of a psychological dependence. But you know, that's it. Certainly, is it isn't rising to the level of opium or or heroin or cocaine or or, or barbiturates of any kind. Uh, or how about the the benzoids? The benzoids really send people for a loop. Um, and these are the things that you go down to your family practitioner and you say, "Look, doc, I can't sleep. I got anxiety." Uh, you know, I want to beat the kids. Um, what can I? Oh, they just you know, write you a little mama's little helper right there. All I've heard is opinion. Nobody has said a fact yet. I'm waiting and they for don't the say fact. facts here. They, oh. That's what that's what gets me. They don't. Okay, I'll, I'll finish playing. I shatter the tall no, I, that I like that. to drink of an evening. What am I left I with? I didn't say that. Listen. You're bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, alcohol has a long history of widespread accepted use in our culture, dating back to before the Old Testament. Marijuana is not does not have that kind of widespread history. So I don't see why just because alcohol is legal, marijuana will be. I could care less if your mar those marijuana moms who are you know net worth a couple million dollars mm -hmm. are smoking you know marijuana on the week days it, this isn't about them this is actually about kids for people vulnerable for addiction okay wait a minute it's about kids people vulnerable for addiction is that what this is about kevin sabet you liar by the way kevin sabet is paid by the university of florida and a bunch of other people to, to downplay the effects of marijuana in popular culture that's what he does Anyways, we'll be right back. We got so much more to do. It's the Political Twist Up Show on the Multimedia Digital Network, powered by the Metro Detroit Compassion Club from the Iron Lab Studio. Join us on the Political Twist Up Show next week as we broadcast live from Canna Camp in Flushing. That's right, Canna Camp 2013 is here. Be a part of this annual summer fun event a perch fishing tournament, live bands, the Horseshoe Championship, a 50 50 raffle, and vendors. Bring your pets. Tents and RVs are welcome. It's just $10 a night per person for camping at this three-day mega event. 8338 West Mount Morris Road in Flushing next weekend, July 5th, 6th, and 7th. Or check out the ad on politicaltwistup.com. At Clio Cultivation, the things that really matter are the best customer service, lowest prices, and a friendlier atmosphere. We share knowledge that will increase your harvest and happiness. Recently, a grower reported double yields in eight weeks by following our methods of the Garden Sage. We also guarantee the lowest prices on every product every day. When you are here, just smile. Bad days don't exist anymore. Now offering complete 1,000 watt systems for 179, eight light T5s 189, 16 inch wall mount fans 3395, Exhale CO2 bags 28 bucks, 8 inch Raptors 199, 1000 watt ballast 8995, 1000 watt lamps start at 50, and Happy Frog and Ocean Forest lower than 1395. Call for details at 810 686 Grow or visit 11394 North Saginaw Road, weekdays 10 to 7, Saturday 10 to 5. At Clio Cultivation, we know to see it is to believe it. Are you looking for medical marijuana professionals in Michigan and do not know where to turn? Visit MMMA.biz. 
For a direct relisting of products and services, search through the medical marijuana businesses at mmma.biz. That's mmma.biz. If you or someone you know received a traffic ticket, has been charged with a misdemeanor, drinking and driving, criminal offense, or has had their driver's license taken away, they need an attorney. They need attorney Glenn McCandless. He's helped hundreds of people solve their legal problems over the past 16 years. My law firm is dedicated to providing quality legal services at affordable rates. Call us at 586-755-2900. Again, that's 586-755-2900. Call now. Show. Okay, we're back live from the Iron Lab studio. We're at a secret location this week. No, we're not. We're, we're at my home studio is where we're at. <laughs> uh, we, we, uh, boy, there was a lot of stuff to do coming back from Cedar Point. And then oh, the new vehicle, it. and then you had the storm, and, I, and Rick's off on family stuff. It's, you got I, a new vehicle? Yeah, well, that is the new, the new show vehicle. We're right. going to probably wrap it. I'm probably going to get some advertising on there. We like the Hydrovision uh, Twist Up Mobile. No way. It's got to be something really, really cool. The, well, Hydrovision's really cool. Yeah, but no. It's premium, premium space. Okay, Clio Cultivation uh, Twist Up. I really like Buddy, but no, I don't think no, no. that's uh, <laughs> This is going for a high price. We're not just giving away car wrap That car's going to be a two-year thing. I mean, That's right. So uh, so if you want to advertise on the Twist Up Mobile. That's Cedar Point Pepsi money. Get a hold of Ryan. He'll help you out. Mm-hmm. You got a number, Ryan? You're going to give a number uh, out? 248. 248- Five six two two zero four zero two four eight five six two two zero four zero. If you want to get on the political twist up mobile, that's right. Uh, the twist up mobile. I like that. The twist mobile. Yeah, that that'll be cool. It's it's. It, ash it won't gray. be good for the. Will the police be pulling over the twist up mobile all the no, time? No, heck, you don't no, think they so. They don't want to hear that on the radio. That they weren't <laughs> fair. <laughs> Most police right. officers are so fair, so I, I don't. We're short on time. Let me let me finish this bit with the because uh, uh, there's just a with little with all bit, these facts. Yeah, all these other crazy facts. facts from the yeah. from the jackasses on uh, on the Piers Morgan show from CNN. We've been playing uh, Doctor Drew and uh, Kevin Sabet and um, uh, the the uh, uh, Kennedy uh, Patrick Kennedy. You said he was paid by Florida State University. He works, he works for the University of Florida. He uh, he works in there. Um, uh, he says it. Uh, he says it. It's part of his credits on the. It plays in the piece, and he downplays the problems or upplays. He 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 he's out there on the side of railing against. He's part of the whole, um, you know, uh, stamp out. Yeah, stamp out marijuana. Ma- oh, marijuana is okay. bad. It's bad for kids. It's all about kids. And um, well, anytime they when, when you look at the people the kids, who are paying him, it's not lie. it's not the it's not the you know. Uh, the Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts of America paying him to uh, hold the hold the kids' safety in, in check. It's the people that are doing the, are the pharmaceutical companies. Those are the guys that end up paying people like Kevin to do this. Well, if he was worried about the, the kids, uh, they should be feeding them better lunches in school, not worrying about my medical marijuana. I'll, let you, I'll, finish, I'll finish the piece here. Let's... Vulnerable for addiction. One in six kids who try pot will become addicted. You see them every day in your treatment We, we see a lot of uh, marijuana addiction. We also see that we, one thing we didn't know is that the effects, long-term effects on the developing brain are much more stam- substantial than I ever thought. The, That's re- right. the research has shown. I, and all of a sudden, but, but they're not going to listen. They're not going to legalize it for under 18, though. These are all fallacial arguments, though, because the whole idea that... Uh, that uh, this has anything to do with kids is just false on its premise. The whole the idea that they're cruxing this argument on the the basis of kids is is insane. Well, they would make you believe they're going to sell marijuana to kids, right? right. At Toys R Us. Try, they're trying to make the argument. Here's your it's Xbox. Almost like they're saying, here's yeah, your marijuana. You know, with, with your school lunch, there's a, there's a lot of amount of of, of mar- marijuana that's going to go on the school lunch tray. It's just not like that at all. It, it, in any, if anything, it puts more distance between kids and drugs like marijuana. Well, that's why anytime they say it's for the kids, you have to really watch. I mean, people use children as weapons. Well, they use them as shields all the time. And it, that's well, what you me, really I'll, need to know the truth. I'll finish this up. What we didn't know is that the effects, long-term effects on the developing brain are much more stam- substantial than I ever thought. The, right. the research has shown. I, and all of a sudden, but, but they're not going to listen. They're not going to legalize yeah. it for under 18, though. That's not gonna no, they're happen. not, but alcohol and tobacco Sanjay, are much more accessible. Sanjay Gupta, and made and the point, right, Sanjay Gupta made the point that actually below 25 years that's of right. age, that's before the better. brain is completely fully formed, right. it yeah. can be more harmful. That's right. Most definitely. IQ is huge. The long-term impact on IQ. Well, I've heard from you three uh, killjoys. Uh, so after the break, we're going to come back with Neil Franklin, who will put the case for the defense of legalizing marijuana. You, you know, Piers Morgan is, uh, you know he's kicking back in his chair at night with his, uh, with his little, uh, you know, shamboard or whatever he drinks. I don't know what he drinks. 
and um, brandy. In a his, big his little glass. brandy and his his uh, cigar and his uh, marijuana joint. You know he's got one sitting over there. He, he called them killjoys. I mean, yes. uh, he calls it pot. Hey, well, pot. it's just it's a spot of pot. He's he's not necessarily from the u.s he's more liberal he understands that marijuana is acceptable so i just wanted to bring out the idea that uh you know i just thought it was crazy that number one but the i expected the conversation of marijuana to become a bigger topic overall um you know and it's coming true it's just that you see a lot more of this now you're seeing a lot more well i think it's in response to the marijuana moms they really were the ones that started this and plus, I think um, Patrick Kennedy, he's, also, he's, he's got his own separate campaign going. He's, I don't know if he's got a book. He's got something he's got to be promoting um, in any event. Um, well, he says it's mental health. He's promoting mental health. That's, that's his... always been Patrick Kennedy's issue is mental health promotion. Uh, you're going to have to say something, Ryan, because i got to plug in the phone. Well, like I said, I, I believe that, you know, his, the reason that he's doing this is, you know, for mental health. And he believes that he's doing the right thing. However, the facts are never presented. You know, I've seen his show on Bill Maher or his segment there. He never said anything that didn't relate to children as a defense. It was always about the children. Well, I'm an adult. Most people in the medical marijuana program are adults. So I don't understand, you know, why it's always marketed this way. And that's why you should be concerned about people that want to take away your rights on behalf of children. Well, it really is. It's... it's um. It's you got to watch the arguments because they'll throw red herrings at you all day long. And they're just really good at it. If 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 the argument seems like it's false on its premise, then don't even get sucked into it because it's false on its premise. I mean, it's fallacious from the get go. And if you feed into it, it gives it fire. Which look at them, Pierce Morgan, <laughs> they're there. You know, I really I hate to say it. I was always a fan of Dr. Drew. You know, they did a call-in show, Dr. Drew and Jimmy Kimmel. You remember that, right? And it was on the radio and whatnot. And I love that show, you know, but I just always remember him being against the marijuana. You know, I just remember one particular caller called in and said, you know, I use marijuana and I use a pop can as my pipe. And he said, well, are you more worried about using the pop can or smoking the marijuana? They're both pretty <laughs> bad for you. So. All right. I don't know if this is going to work or not because I, um, I didn't have time to test it in advance. Curtis, are you on the phone? Okay, he's on the regular phone. Hang on, Curtis, because I gotta plug you into the studio now. I don't. If it, it might or it might not work. I hope it does, but we'll give it a shot. It's gonna work. It didn't work a minute ago. I don't know because I couldn't hear him. All right. Um, uh, let me just test this live. So I'm I'm testing it through the phone. Can you hear us through the phone, Curtis? Did you hear that, Curtis? Were you, were you able to hear that? Hello. Did you hear it a second ago? A second ago, did you? Oh. This might not work, Ryan. <laughs> All right, let's just go for it and quit testing it and well, see what happens. Well, you know, the best I could do is hold this. Well, let's just see what happens. Plug him in. I did. It's not, I don't, we're not getting him. Aw, um, Curtis. It's just not that one. Say something, Curtis. I'm not getting anything there. Not getting anything there. You know, we might have to do Curtis. I don't want to do Curtis after the break because there's only one more break. We've got to do LJ, and he's also supposed to be on the phone. Oh. Well, you know, I don't know what happened. I tried to plug this in the right way. It just doesn't look like it's going to go. I don't get it. Well, we'll check it out after the break. No, see, it's got to happen now. That's the oh, problem. Because there's oh. only one break, and we can't do it. <laughs> Sorry, Curtis. I just explained that. You know, what's wrong with you? Well, I, I ne never say die. <laughs> never say die. All right. So um, I just uh, just for the sake, uh, Curtis, we can't get you can't get you plugged in right now for some reason. I'm, I've got the wires crossed. Let me just let me see. If, let me try one thing. Hang on. I'm going to switch the cords. Hang on. I haven't heard the wires cross since Michigan Bell went uh, fiber optic. Yeah. All right, I switched that one. I don't think this is going to work, but I'm going to try it anyway. All right, I'm going to try it this way, see if it works. Can you hear us now, Curtis? Hello? No, see, it didn't work. I, didn't, I knew it wasn't going to work because it's the output. Anyways. Right. Well, um, I'm just going to get this from you. Curtis, can you, can you tell me? Curtis is the guy. Curtis um, it has cerebral palsy. And Curtis is on a trip right now in his wheelchair because he's, he's really physically disabled. He can't walk. Yet he's making this roll from Michigan. And he started back, was it um, late May? Yes. He started in late May. Mid May. No, no Curtis, says, Curtis says he started on June 14th. Okay. Uh, Curtis, where did, you, where did you, let me see, let's turn the mic up really up high and see if we can hear you. S s tell us when you started, Curtis. Can you tell us? I guess, Curtis, say, say something, anything. Yes, 
can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. So tell us when you started. We started on June 14th from my home in Taylor, Michigan. Okay. And um, how far did you make it uh, so far? You're almost there, aren't you? Yeah, actually, we had, uh, had a schedule. We are in Hagerstown, Maryland, about 60 miles from the White House. Wow, that's not far away at all. Wow. Well, we've only got a couple of minutes before we go to break, Curtis. Um, when you get there, you're, you've got a speaking engagement planned. Tell us about that. That's a new event. I, I can't hear you. I say um, you, you've got a speaking engagement once you get to Washington, D.C. Uh, this is a recent development. Tell us about that. Yeah, there's a human rights rally at the, in the front of the White House, and the organizer contacted me and asked me to speak, and I said, sure. I would be more than happy to speak because this is a human rights rights issue to me. And uh, so we're scheduled to speak at the White House on the 4th of July. That's awesome. Uh, congratulations, Curtis. It takes a tremendous amount of courage to do what Curtis is doing. And I just have to applaud him for it. Curtis, you just, uh, you were, I've noticed on your Facebook page that you've had people, because uh, Curtis announced his uh his uh, plans on our show. It was it was our show, the first radio show you did the announcement on, Curtis? Not on our time here. I say, was our show the first show that you had announced your plans to do your walk on or your, your trek to D.C.? Yes, you guys were the very first show, Steve. And then uh, do you, did, you make a, did you make a Drew and Mike appearance after that? Or who wasn't it? Not, not Drew and Mike. Who was it? Uh, who took over for Drew and Mike? Uh, Drew, uh, not, not Drew and Mike. It was uh, David Chuck the Freak. Dave and Chuck the Freak, uh, you were on their show? You were on Dave and Chuck the Freak's show? Yes, it was. That's awesome. Uh, Curtis, um, we're getting ready to run to break, man. I just wanted to say thanks for what you're doing, and we're supporting you, and uh, we're, we're keeping an eye on you. We'll keep you updated on the program. I wear the shirt with pride. I do, too. Uh, thanks so much, Curtis. We'll talk to you soon. We've got to go run to break. We'll be right back. There's more to come. LJ from Advanced Nutrients, our Ask the Gardener segment, coming up next on the Political Twist Up Show. This is the Multimedia Digital Network. The Political Twist Up Show. At Clio Cultivation, the things that really matter are the best customer service, lowest prices, and a friendlier atmosphere. We share knowledge that will increase your harvest and happiness. Recently, a grower reported double yields in eight weeks by following our methods of the Garden Sage. We also guarantee the lowest prices on every product every day. When you are here, just smile. Bad days don't exist anymore. Now offering complete 1,000 watt systems for 179, eight light T5s 189, 16 inch wall mount fans 33.95. Exhale CO2 bags, 28 bucks. 8 inch Raptors, 199. 1000 watt ballast, 89.95. 1000 watt lamps start at 50. And Happy Frog and Ocean Forest, lower than 13.95. Call for details at 810 686 Grow or visit 11394 North Saginaw Road. Weekdays 10 to 7, Saturday 10 to 5. At Clio Cultivation, we know to see it is to believe it. Get everything you need at Hydrovision Indoor Gardening Centers. It's summertime and the best of what you need for indoor and outdoor gardening is at your local Hydrovision store where your indoor gardening dreams come true outside too. Equipment and supplies, they got it. Nearby locations, they got it. And the friendly, helpful staff is full of answers to all your gardening needs. Hydrovision, get great prices. Mention my name, Steve Green, for a special discount. Hydrovision Indoor Gardening Centers in Howell, Fenton, Richmond, Trenton, and Belleville, one near you, or go to myhydrovision.com. Well, this uh, formula is specifically to grow cannabis. That's Ray Kogo for Kogo's Original Cannabis Formula Nutrients. Now everybody knows that uh, large buds and tight buds come from genetics and then the amount of light you use. The other part is having the correct nutrients that the plant's going to use. Uh, mine specifically to grow cannabis so it's going to get everything that it needs. Ray knows what you may not. Those nutrient companies you can get in most grow shops are not cannabis specific. That means they take the stuff out of the bloom that your plant needs in bloom. You can get Kogo's Original Cannabis Formula Nutrients too. It's just two one gallon jugs that make over 600 gallons of nutrients. All for less than 100 bucks. See the difference for yourself. More trichomes, bigger buds, faster growth, and for less money. Go to C-A-N-N-A-B-I-S formula.com. 
or call Ray Direct at 517-375-8998. That's 517-375-8998. Coco's Original Cannabis Formula Nutrients. The, the, the Political Twist Up Radio, radio Show. Radio show. Okay, we're back live from the Iron Lab studio, powered by the Metro Detroit Compassion Club. Yeah. It is the uh, Political Twist Up show, and this is the segment where, um, it's the last segment of the show, so we, I don't know if we celebrate the end of the show, or, uh, it's, it's, it's just sure a regular feature we've got on the show. Celebrating. <laughs> I like to celebrate yeah, The during. studio board ops in Grand Rapids and in Flint are celebrating at, at this moment. But not as much as you are right there. You got what do you I'm got in your hand? Nothing. My you fingers. got nothing. There's nothing in Ryan's hand right now. My okay. fingers. So um, we're talking to LJ from Advanced Nutrients. Say hello, LJ. What's up, guys? How you doing? We're doing really well. So Excellent. I wanted to now we got the uh, we got the magical uh, microphone uh, studio th- today with the uh, phone. We got to, I'm literally holding the speakerphone up to the mic. So that's how you're getting on the air. But in any event. <laughs> We wanted to ask you some questions today about gardening. Are you ready for us? Lay it on me, man. So, um, now, there are certain things in, in a grow that uh, help and assist in the, the micronutrients of the soil. Uh, and you guys have a product uh, called Voodoo, and you have another product called, uh, uh, what's the other one? It's the uh, powder product. That's the uh, tarantula, piranha, and voodoo juice for yeah. all that. And um, they're just incredible. We're actually going to be releasing something very soon that's going to be containing some of those products. It's a special box set that we're very excited about. It's hugely discounted, so everybody can get their hands on these types of things. And I just wrote an article in Rosebud Magazine about this. That um, you know, a lot of guys ask if, if these types of items are needed for their growing. Like, do I need these beneficial? Do I need the soil? So it's like, no, you don't need it. However, it does help in just so many different areas of production, flavor, healthy plants, root zone inoculation. I mean, just on and on it goes. So it's kind of like the, um, the the really nice upgrade, if you will, like the, the you know, JBL surround sound system for the living room. You don't need it, but God, it sounds nice. You know what I mean? Well, you know, um, I always compare things, you know, with, with when you're looking at growing a plant. It's, it's got basic needs, and they're, the, they're kind of similar to the needs that you have as a person, as a, as a creature. Um, and if you under, if you kind of compare the two, like uh, they have, you ever heard, you ever been to an oxygen bar, LJ? No, I haven't actually. They have they have these things called, and they, and they have them. They're novelties. They have them in regular, you know, liquor establishments. They have an oxygen bar. No, I've heard of them. And you go there and you put on your little oxygen mask, and I you get the it. you get the pure CO two or CO two. <laughs> <laughs> you get the, the pure O two, and um and uh, you know it's flavored or it's it's got a it's got a, usually a flavor or a smell attached to it. And people pay big bucks because they get buzzed off the O2. And, I, you know, it's just ex, it's excess O2. And so that's what your body needs, and that's why you're feeling good about it. You're getting excess of something that you normally have to filter out of the atmosphere. If you treat the plant the same way, it doesn't, doesn't some of these things that uh, advanced nutrients make kind of give it the plush excess of what it normally would have to hunt for and, and search out and seek and destroy on its own? Dude, Advanced Nutrients is the best nutrient line for uh, just total plant health. I mean, we over, how do I put this? We cover our bases on so many products, meaning that, like, there will be two or three products in one mix that all have fulvics or humics in it to increase nutrient uptake. We don't just place that with one product to do that job. We place it with a couple different products in our line to make sure that it's always present, always available. Like, I get the question on pH perfect plot. Okay, it's 5.7. Every time it hits the water, always, it's perfect. But what if I'm in soil and I need a 6.1, 6.2 pH range to really get what I'm looking for? That's why we have such a tremendous amount of uptake additives to just make the plant want to uptake nutrients, you know what I mean? So even though there is that little, uh, little margin in between the pH numbers, we can still deliver the nutrients effectively to the plant. So, I know call it man, easy mode because um, the whole idea being that there's never any deficiencies. Dude, you walk in your garden, it's always perfect. And for the new gardener, that's great because when I was using things like GH or even house and garden, sometimes I'd get some yellowing and nitrogen deficiency and I'd have to go looking for my bottle that had the most nitrogen in it and try to go heavy on that to bring them back. And I was always kind of like tailor-making the mix. 
advanced, you don't have to do that. You just pour it in. It always works. It works excellent. And you follow the instructions. You put it in there, and it's done. That's it. I mean, because we cover our bases so much. I mean, we have more of larger infrastructure than pretty much any other company out there. We've got 23 PhDs on staff, constant testing. We have an unlimited license for marijuana plants in food. We can grow as many as we like. We have a World War II facility that we converted into a mega grow, like a big manufacturing facility. And these guys test, 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 and advance out more science on the cannabis plant than anyone else in the world can count. Any other government, agency, school, whatever, we got them all beat. And that's why our new grants, I mean, hence, that's why they're a little more expensive in the competition. There's a lot more money that goes into making them on an R&D front and salaries and facilities and everything else. But also, um, they're just the best, dude. I've used every other nutrient line prior to using advanced. And once I tried it out, man, it just lit a fire in me. So like, it, because it was incredible. What, what, is, what is in that stuff, the voodoo and the tarantula, and what's the other one? The voodoo, I believe, is nine different types of bacillus. So it's the bacteria. Is, uh, I'm sorry? It's bacteria. It's, I'm say, I say it's bacteria. But for the most part, I mean, all of them can be kind of classified like that to some degree. Right. But um, it goes, like, a lot of the stuff that we put into these models, we keep proprietary. The reason being is we spend so much on the science, we just don't unleash it to the rest of the world and let them copy our formulas. Um, some stuff we actually do release, like the phosphorus myth or the pH manifesto. These are things that we do release to the community, even though it's very proprietary science. We give it away because we feel like the consumers and the, the community needs to know about this, like the phosphorus myth, for instance. The phosphorus, where all the heavy metals are, you don't need these huge phosphorus, and phosphorus hits in um, flour. And we proved it. We proved it with our team of scientists. You know what I mean? Well, you got a bunch of research guys working in another country with a mega grow that have the, uh, the wherewithal without looking over their shoulder to sit down and figure these things out. One guy in our thing just wrote his doctoral thesis on tarantula. <laughs> he does that. Wrote his doctorate thesis. <laughs> well, there's a guy I remember. There's. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I yeah, I was, I was just gonna say there's a guy I remember that's a lot like that. Uh, the guy that made the phototron. He did a thesis on uh, growing pot too. He's one of the few guys that, you know. But that was uh, back in a different day. The, the phototrons were killer, though, for a lot of years. You got it, man. Hey, I had a you phototron know, back in the day. Games in town. That was like old school growing up with the phototron. But, dude, they were awesome at the time. Nobody had anything like that at the time, you know what I mean? This little self-contained system that you can just <laughs> do your thing in. Like, I always thought it was very, very slick. Well, it was very that. scientific, which is a lot like advanced. That's why I'm making the comparison. Advanced is all science, and I mean, I can say that with complete conviction, because we've we've done it. We spent the money. We, we hired the people, built the, the facilities. We we did all those steps that are hugely expensive. They're not cheap things, none of them. I mean, dude, you've set up like a four-light grill. You can go ten grand deep into a four-light grill. And by the time you get everything you need, like spouse, bulbs, you know, fans, the wall fans, air conditioners, CO2, everything. Um, well, imagine what it's like to set up, you know, a four or five hundred light grow, you know, thousand, two thousand light grow. It's, <laughs> it can add up on you, you know, but we did it. And the reason we did it was for the community. We wanted to have the best product, and I feel that we do. Now, hands down. Well, we were asking a question about carbo load. Can you tell us about carbo load and what that is? Carbo load is just a very, very pure carb. It's an organic one. It's, um, it's just, it helps. Okay, all these beneficials that we add to the mix basically need something to feed on and they need carbs that's what they eat so basically when you're in veg we will recommend sometimes like carbo load or butt candy to help those uh colonies thrive and survive you know what i mean last question about b12 or just b vitamins you got the you got the b52 a product we own the b vitamin market dude okay there's been super thrive forever Wow. Is one of my favorite products. There's been Super Thrive Forever, and that's been a great B vitamin supplement. Nobody can deny that. Those guys have won all kinds of awards and helped the community in a huge way. However, B52, I believe it has nine different B vitamins in it, plus humic for uptake. It's just a hell of a all, product. All I know is that when I put it in there, it, the plants are happy as hell. Uh, LJ, we got to run yeah, because we've only got seconds left. 
But um, thanks hey, for. Well, thank you so much for having me. Your show is the best. I love what you guys do for the community. I'm hugely impressed by it, as we all are, man. So I hope that you guys continue to kick ass and thrive. We're gonna do you it, do buddy. A great job. Thanks, man. Hey, uh, we'll we'll see you next week uh, on the Political Twist Up Show when we're gonna be live at Canna Camp, um, and uh, in a bit. Um, we got uh, some other special announcements to make, too. We'll be doing some giveaways and some other things. Nice. So we're looking forward to that. It's the Iron Lab Studio. We're powered by the Metro Detroit Compassion Club. We'll see you next week. Multimedia Digital Network.